So welcome to Cisco Live Milan and today we are demonstrating the CGR 1000 series running the IOX software meaning we can run iOS uh, images for data communication as well as operating system Linux so we can put distributed intelligence. And now let's open the box so we can look at uh, what the box is. So basically you can see here we have the motherboard with Ethernet port, fiber optics and RG45. We have serial port, we have USB, we have GPS, we have an access point for Wi-Fi. And then you have four models where we can put interfaces like cellular, 3G, CDMA. We have WiMAX, we have RF for data communication with the endpoint. And we can also put PLC powerline communication for communication with the endpoint. We have battery backup. And by the way, we can host application. We can also host third party hardware through the USB port using the Linux embedded on the software. So here now we are on the second part of the booth for the field array network where we are demonstrating the endpoint. So endpoint based be meters or any sensor embedding the Cisco IP technology. And we are also demonstrating the new IR500 router series from Cisco we just launched. So the box will be used to connect device like the distribution automation device and using Ethernet or serial line. And we will be forwarding all the data across the wireless. The box is IPv6 enabled and we are putting technology so we can transport serial protocol from legacy protocol as well as IPv4 on top of the IPv6 network. That's the Cisco key feature. And at the same time, we are also demonstrating the NMS application, which allows us to do provisioning, security management, operational management, and firmware upgrade of the endpoint. Here we have uh, meters from our, our partner, iTron, which is equipped with an uh, RF mesh card, the IEEE 815.4G running IPv6 and communicating with the CGR 1240. Here we have another iTron meter with a powerline communication card and running IPv6 as well and communicating with the CGR 1120. And here we have, I would say, operational application communicating with the distribution, I mean, with the cap bank controller across the IR500 series. Okay. One of the challenge of deploying an IoT network is it's an enterprise network, so it's private, but the size may be the size of service provider network. So here, if we are considering the deployment of meters, we may have millions of meters, meaning we need to do provisioning, we need to do security, we need to do management, and we need to perform firmware upgrade. This is exactly why we are offering Cisco NMS platform, which will be used to perform all this operation. So let's have a look at the Cisco NMS platform. So here you can get a graphical map we'll be able to position all the equipment. And from there, we can start looking at all information. So let's pick uh, the equipment. That will be the meter. I can look at the list, I can go to the meter, and I can now click on, on the meter. So the network operator will, need, will be able to find exactly the status of a given device. From there, we can perform testing. So here, a very basic test is a ping command. Remember, each of the nodes is an IP endpoint. So what does it mean ping for the operation? Let's say your customer is losing power. Now we can detect where the power has been lost by considering the network. And you can look at all the operation from the node. So you can look at the information about traffic. And you can also perform provisioning and firmware upgrade. 